This is the outermost part of the old street in the shantytown, a place where monsters are rampant. Bounty hunters are accustomed to calling this the exchange of fire. The neon lights of the upper city cannot shine here in a single day, and chaos and slaughter will always be the theme here. Lin traveled through time and inherited a declining ED store, mastering a proficiency panel, and thus began a bizarre journey through the cyber world. In the early stage, it was waste soil keywords of the novel. Starting from ED store without pop ups, starting from ED store to download the complete set of TXT, starting from ED store to read the latest chapters. Chapter 1 ED Shop You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 ED Shop Outside the City of Anning, a place of exchange. Lin N E Sports Store. A light rain pattered outside the window, and the store door was damp and gloomy. A purple light flashed across the sky, revealing the wires lying on the ground inside the store, adding a touch of chaos. Stepping over the old rubber wires, there was a thin man sitting on an iron chair in the back, working at his desk. His dirty right hand was twisting and twisting several extremely thin optical cables, carefully inserting them into the hole of a mechanical right arm's receiving groove. Thunder roared and Lin and's hand trembled. The pinched fiber optic cable bundle has dispersed. He let out a light sigh and threw the thing on his hand as if he had lost his breath. He rubbed his hands against the cloth and gently lifted a corner of the curtain. The rainwater fell to the ground, merging into streams and flowing away. The ferocious bloodstains on the Slate Street had faded away, as if the more than ten people who fought to death this afternoon were a joke. Lin was moved by the scenery, and a wandering sense of unease suddenly surged from the bottom of his heart. He thought about taking the postgraduate and doctoral entrance exams in a systematic manner, and also wanted to find a job to rely on himself after graduating from undergraduate studies. However, he did not expect to travel to a cyberpunk world a few days ago and become a nominal body repair shop owner in the most chaotic battlefield. This is the outermost part of the surrounding area of Anning City, with numerous gangs and wealthy tycoons covering the sky. When viewed from afar, everything you see is darkness, monsters roam freely outside the city, lurking on one side, ready to invade from time to time, with no grass growing wherever they go. Here, risks and opportunities coexist, and bloodshed events happen every moment, so much so that the lottery for the dead in the city does not include data on the location of the firefight. The branches of the human world, each riding the flow, Lin N shook his head, pressed down on the bathroom door handle with his elbow, turned the faucet to the maximum, and started cleaning his hands. The mirror in front of me cracked into three petals, reflecting a young and tired face under the light. Gunshots were often heard in the middle of the night at the scene of gunfire, and Lin repeatedly woke up from his sleep, tossing and turning, making it difficult to fall asleep. Naturally, his energy was not as strong as before. Lin tidied up his emotions, folded his clothes, and was about to fall asleep when he keenly heard hurried footsteps coming from outside the window. As one person walked rapidly, metal parts on their clothes collided and made a unique sound. Finally, they stopped in front of the ED store and rang the doorbell. Ding dong. Lin reorganized his clothes and casually pinned an energy pistol to his waist, igniting a small emotion in his heart. He really wants to fly away and settle in a safer and more prosperous city, where he will never see this bustling battlefield again. But he has no choice now. He has no money and is not familiar with the place of life in Anning City. He can only use this charity shop as a bridgehead to explore a new world. The person who runs a charity shop is also known as a mechanic. This charity shop was passed down to Lin by his long-deceased father, and his father's craftsmanship is undoubtedly much more advanced than his. At its peak, it was once located in the center of the entire lower city, establishing a registered company that provided services to countless gang leaders and became a major supplier of arms companies, earning praise from both black and white factions. At that time, my father would always ask Lin and to learn more about mechanical maintenance knowledge and have more exposure to Edie. Fortunately, he would take over his skills in the future, allowing the company, which was still in its infancy, 
to grow into a towering tree and truly compete with the giants who had gone down from the city. Later, my father died. Many people came to mourn, dressed casually, wearing earrings, and wearing exoskeletons. Someone also indirectly asked Xiao Lin and how well he learned his craft. He gave a heartache and patted his chest, saying, look at it, but after years of poor operation, the ED store went from bad to worse. He doesn't even know how to do ET. This shop is also known for selling dog meat under the guise of sheep's head, but in reality, it's a business of repairing and repairing broken items. After the company's funding chain broke down, it was finally unable to pay the high rent. It moved out of the downtown area and lived in a corner of the city called the Battleground. The people who came and went were some unscrupulous people, doing the lowest end work and matching Lin and perfectly. Later on, some colleagues also set up storefronts on this street, and Lin's charity shop completely declined. It has been a full three days since it opened. The cold rain outside the window is pouring down, and the ancient house is no longer there. The past should be let go. With a creaking sound, the door opened, and outside was a person dressed in tattered clothes, resembling an old beggar. However, he happened to intentionally or unintentionally reveal the exquisite pattern of ebony paired with a gun handle on his waist. He kept a wisp of goatee, a pair of muddy tricks swirling around, and a piece of white linen wrapped around his back, something unknown. Lin En realized that this was an old customer living on the next street, who used to take care of the business of the small shop. He quickly approached to inquire about the details. The rain is falling too quickly. Mr. Lin, I apologize for bothering you so late. Yang Gui chuckled and suddenly untied the white linen cloth behind him, handing Lin and a damaged barrel. He raised one hand slightly, and the dripping flesh and blood had already adhered to his clothes. He spoke while futilely squeezing the sewage on his sleeve, fearing infection. It hasn't rained normally in Anning City for a long time. This acid rain contains dissolved sulfides and has a relatively low pH value. Once exposed to a weaker body, it is safe to catch a cold and has a significant corrosive effect on the skin. Medication is scarce in the battlefield, and if you have a high fever, it's hard to say if you can survive. Lin invited him to the store door and did some emergency treatment with alcohol and iodine. He turned on the baking lamp, brewed a pot of synthetic tea, and exclaimed in surprise. With such great luck today, can you pick up the A goods from the Rafton Army factory? He he. Yang Gui smiled and confidently stroked his goatee, pretending to be mysterious as he approached. I picked it up from Dingtu Fortress. A member of the lizard gang came to smash me with an iron stick and asked me to shoot him twice. A few days ago, I even picked up half of the holographic scanner, which would be too expensive. I made over 4,000 points on the black market, which is much more than your monthly revenue. I told you earlier not to work in this maintenance industry. Anyway, your level is not very good, and you can repair a component. It's better to get rich together with my brother. Dingtuwu is the largest garbage station in the Jiahua area and also a transfer station for garbage treatment plants. In Yang Gui's words, she is like a kind mother, nurturing a large group of scavengers. But that area is firmly occupied by several gangs, leaving few opportunities for retail investors to fish in troubled waters. Yang Gui, on the other hand, is one of the most powerful retail investors. He has a great reputation and even established a garbage collection organization called Bronze Metal Picker, with a bronze medal hanging around his waist as a symbol. It's too dangerous, Lin shook his head. He has never had the intention of risking himself, not only will he not go to Dingtu Fortress now, but he will also not go in the future. Seeing that Lin En was not eager to make progress, Yang Gui also lost the mood to talk about it anymore. He has made a lot of money these days, using all his money to purchase weapons and armor, but he just doesn't care too much about his clothes. Give him a few kind words of advice, but don't listen and pull him down. After holding the severely worn gun barrel, Lin took the blowtorch and baked it around. 
the frosty white metal oxide film on it melted as quickly as snow in hot summer. I pressed a few more buttons to connect the power supply to the washing machine, started checking the spindle box, and ran the oil level. However, my field of vision suddenly became blurred, and the pale text, different from the portable electronic terminal, slowly emerged in the darkness. Mechanical Maintenance EXP Plus 1 Mechanical Maintenance LV1 Initial View Path LV2 Slight Success, Newcomers Seeking Recommended Tickets, End of this Chapter Chapter 2 Mechanical Maintenance You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Mechanical Maintenance Lynn, Lifetime 2644 Mechanics Mechanical Maintenance LV2 Slightly Improved 1 slash 500 first glimpse into mechanical manufacturing LV1. 21 out of 100 mathematics. Introduction to advanced algebra LV1. 12 out of 100, this is the golden finger that Lin traveled through, which can quantify the host's mastery of each skill with data. As long as it is trained mechanically, it can be infinitely improved. From then on, there will be no bottleneck in knowledge and skills, and the mastery level will never regress, which can ensure that Lin's knowledge level will always be at its peak. Never forget. On the pale panel, Lin's name was neatly written, categorizing all the skills he had learned throughout his life. At a glance, it was all just a glimpse into the path. Today, a skill has undergone a qualitative change from quantitative change. Mechanical maintenance belongs to a subset of mechanics. A large amount of mechanical knowledge that was once mastered was like pearls scattered on the beach, suddenly connected by a thread, and each basic knowledge point began to collude and deform with each other, until a new second-level inference was deduced. Lin's understanding of machinery has reached a new level. After working hard for a week, Lin N finally moved the mechanical repair point to LV2. Lin N's eyes flickered, and he had a proficiency panel. As long as he accumulated proficiency points through daily practice, he could easily break through and learn anything without any bottlenecks. Now, he has transformed from an apprentice to a skilled old hand, and compared to other owners of charity shops, he is not inferior. In just a moment, a brand new barrel was handed back to Yang Gui. Ha! Huh. Yang Gui looked at the barrel, his gaze wandering strangely between Lin En and the barrel. He instinctively felt that this was not the precision that this neighbor could polish, so he tentatively said. Which master did you go to Daji for further education? What's that? Lin snorted, is it not expensive to charge you 100 points for this completion rate? It's not expensive, it's not expensive. He changed his color with a the first mock examination of trouser pockets, and then said, but I happen to be in a hurry. Can I go first? Seeing Lin En's faint tendency to get angry, Yang Gili immediately said, Don't say goodbye. I have 50 yuan here, let's put it on first, and the remaining 10 or 8 yuan. I have to eat along the way, I really can't give it. Pass Lin and a handful of broken copper, and when he calmed down, Yang Gui grinned and wrapped it around the hemp strip. As he left, he suddenly felt a little emotional and sighed lightly. Now it seems that you are still living a peaceful life, earning so much money with your hands every day. After this while, I won't do it anymore. It's also good to follow you to tinker with these iron things. Yang Gui's figure disappeared into the rainy night, and Lin En looked at his back through the window, shaking his head in self-deprecation. What a fart! He is the only customer of the small shop in the past two days. After seeing off Yang Gui, Lin En was completely sleepless. After confirming that there was no one outside the window, he opened the dusty wardrobe and used his strength to pick up a safe. Clack. The safe landed, and Lin collapsed on the bed, sweating profusely on his head. This body is also too weak, no wonder the panel determines that I can only live to be in my forties. Enter the password, the metal safe opens with a click, and Lin effortlessly removes a military individual exoskeleton from it. Exoskeletons are mechanical devices made of steel frames that can be worn by humans. 
Elderly people in combat areas generally refer to those who wear exoskeletons as stubble. Exoskeletons are usually equipped with external energy weapons, and even people with guns have to avoid them when they encounter them. Their mobility is far superior to that of ordinary people, and if the bullets are not accurate enough to guarantee a single victory, it is meaningless. And these people are all wearing civilian exoskeletons. The exoskeleton in front of Lin's eyes was quite old, with a mottled surface. The parts of the right scapula were also broken in two, and several wires hung down from the particle cannon on his left arm, resembling an unearthed cultural relic. This exoskeleton is exactly what Lin En's father, who has not yet met, treasures. Originally, Lin En had many of them in his family, but in the process of his original life, he actually sold them all. In front of him, this is already the last one. Lin analyzed the energy supply system of the exoskeleton and finally understood it. After pulling a few wires to charge it for a while, the pale blue pattern suddenly spread on top of the mech, lit up for a moment, and then dimmed again. There's a problem with the circuit. Lin gasped for breath and wiped his forehead with his sleeve. After looking at it for a long time, he couldn't figure out where the problem was. It was then that he finally understood. Only LV-2 level mechanical maintenance cannot repair this military exoskeleton. This matter is not urgent at the moment, he must further study his old profession. Even though my body is incredibly weak, as long as I wear an exoskeleton, I can still possess unparalleled strength like Superman. Is this technology? Lin sat on the bed, with a heavy heart. The next day. Lin slept until dawn and reluctantly woke up. His brain was drowsy, his face turned slightly blue, and his dark circles under his eyes were even heavier. He stumbled into the kitchen and, as usual, added the throbbing low-dot-quality syrup, compressed energy stick powder, and synthesized meat chunks into a bowl in a ratio of 3.2.1. Rinse with hot water and stir with chopsticks. Lin scooped up a spoonful of strangely colored paste and eagerly put it into his mouth. To be honest, these things are quite delicious, and can even be said to be human delicacies. Eating only these things every day can maintain the needs of the human body and also facilitate the daily life of consumers, maximizing everyone's working hours. After indulging in a feast, Lin hurriedly went to his desk to work, sometimes dismantling the robotic arm model, and sometimes delving into the majority of the theories passed down from his father. There used to be a lot of books in my home, but the vast majority of them were lost during the continuous moving process. Now, none of them have been passed down, but they still cover various fields. Not only are there introductory works on mechanics, but there are also some books on circuits and energy, which are enough for a normal person to study for a long time. A day passed quickly. Night shrouded, and in an instant, the group of lights on the road lit up. Lin En suddenly looked up and realized that it was already nightfall again. He glanced at the panel with hope in his heart. Many miscellaneous items have been improved. The data representing mechanical maintenance has improved the most, by several points. Lin En slightly calculated that it would take at least a few more months to upgrade the mechanical maintenance technology to level 3. It's a bit slow, but it doesn't matter. Stronger than the original owner of Waste, and stronger than Lin who lived an ordinary life in another world a week ago. For Lin, he has never been a genius. Born into an ordinary family, attended an ordinary high school, and was admitted to an ordinary university. My academic performance is not bad either. I can't guarantee admission to top universities, and I won't skip classes every day. If I take exams, the teacher can barely pass them. If nothing unexpected happens, he will also take the postgraduate entrance examination step by step and then move towards employment, becoming one of the majority but that's already good. He is not a floating wave, but at least it is a calm sea, and beneath him, there are countless sea waters that steadily lift him up. There have been no customers recently, Lin has been maintaining a very regular schedule these days. He wakes up at 11 o'clock every day, starts studying non-stop after finishing his meal, 
and goes to bed at one o'clock in the morning. His muscles are even more relaxed, but fortunately his knowledge level has greatly improved, so it can also be considered self.discipline. For the field of mechanical maintenance, its three main branches are firearms maintenance, daily necessities maintenance, and vehicle maintenance. Lin has already reached LV2 level in all three branches, but mechanical maintenance is a subset of mechanics. Mechanics can be divided into multiple subsets such as mechanical maintenance, mechanical manufacturing, and mechanical usage. In the process of increasing knowledge of mechanical maintenance, there is also a slow improvement in proficiency in other subsets such as mechanical manufacturing, which is called analogy. In the process of accumulating proficiency, there is also a localized qualitative change, so Lin's technical level is not static, but is slowly improving. Perhaps, after repairing the exoskeleton, I can switch to specializing in the field of mechanical manufacturing. Lin thought to himself that the prospects of mechanical manufacturing were much broader. But this afternoon, he did not start studying at his desk as usual. After bouncing the bottomed energy powder packaging and looking at the bottomed syrup, Lin began to feel anxious. These foods can only sustain him for a maximum of three days. He had to go to the market to buy some food and come back. The market in the firefight area shouldn't be that dangerous either. Hey, this kind of life is too bad, we still need to move to the city as soon as possible. Lin howled in sorrow. The indigenous people in the conflict area do not have the Anning City ID card, cannot activate mobile terminals, cannot surf the internet, and cannot enjoy many services within the city. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Market Insights You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Market Insights Lin was ready to go, and before leaving, he didn't forget to pick up the energy pistol on the table and clumsily open the safety. Click. Then close it again. Click. The shooting proficiency is very low, perhaps due to the thinking of a former commoner. Since Lin traveled to this world, he has not fired even a single bullet. Practice shooting when you come back. A few days ago, he was addicted to studying and had been somewhat lax in marksmanship. Fortunately, he was originally a pure resident of Anning City. Although his accuracy was not very good, he still knew how to shoot. The millimeter of the muzzle may determine the life of the gunman. Lin En took a deep breath before slowly pushing the door open. Under the dazzling sunlight, he squinted his eyes and instinctively covered the sunlight with his hands. Yo, isn't this a big mechanic? Why are you willing to go out today? If you don't see someone, hear their voice first. Auntie Subi, who was picking up garbage on the old street with a small car, laughed and teased, her voice was particularly loud. Almost in an instant, Lin surrounded her neighbors and the windows of several houses next to her immediately opened. How is the business doing? Have you made one million? Lin was helpless, as these neighbors knew about his current business situation, and words like the chief engineer were almost always ironic. I love to talk big, so so many neighbors are waiting to see me laugh. He barely managed to handle these people and finally squeezed out of the crowd. People under the eaves have to bow their heads. At noon. Anning City stands tall and stands tall, symbolizing prosperity and progress. Beside it are scattered skyscrapers, emitting endless light pollution during the day. The wilderness outside the city is even more vast and boundless. Holding a telescope, one can only see the shadows and shadows outside the city from afar. If one wants to see clearly, they cannot see it. The wilderness is filled with a strange fog all year round, seriously blocking the view of the city people. The battlefield was sandwiched between these two massive objects, making it seem insignificant. Lin Enyi Sports Shop is located in the northeast corner of the entire battlefield, on a main road called Old Street, which is not too far from the market. It's a walk of about 10 minutes. Lin pushed a small cart down the Old Street, 
looking at beggars leaning on tin houses with POS machines on the side of the road, staggering people picking through household waste and children playing soccer with laughter, feeling a sense of unease. There are three ways for the boys in the crossfire area to stand out. The simplest way is to join a gang and live a life of licking blood on the tip of a knife. Working for a few years may also yield friendship and wealth. Even harder, join a bounty hunter to resist restless beasts in the misty wilderness and earn money from hunting. The most difficult thing is to learn step by step and apply to companies in other regions step by step. There is no soil for learning here, and many people cannot recognize a single big character. It is extremely difficult to self.study and understand recruitment questions that even Lin N cannot understand. Lin's anxious mood inexplicably eased a lot. At least I haven't fallen into this kind of land yet. Arriving at the market in the northeast region, which is controlled by the Lizard Gang, there are occasional ghost fire motorcycles carrying exhaust fumes. On the seats of the cars are young girls dressed in flashy attire and pain shirts. Most of them had undergone prosthetic modifications, their arms shining with metallic luster, and came to monitor the order of the market. They also easily took out the beggars who had sneaked in. There are also burly hunters with fierce faces and big guns on their backs, hoping to make some supplies in the market. Of course, there are still more people like Lin who just bow their heads and walk their own path. In the market, that night, SPA emitting beautiful lights roared in broad daylight, while hunters and mercenaries toasted in the tavern. Long queues formed in the front row of the Edie store in Mong Kok, and business was doing well. Lin Enjuo glanced at the charming inn, and the woman standing at the door immediately looked over with seductive eyes. Lin Enjuo's heart skipped a beat, and he smiled and looked at it. Reluctantly retracting his gaze, Lin followed a memory clip to find the most frequently visited food wholesale store. The owner sat in a maza, leaning against a half-open iron door to bask in the sun, holding stainless steel walnuts in his hand. When he saw Lin, he clapped his hands. Oh, Xiaolin, I haven't seen you for several days. Have you been doing well in business lately? The boss's name is Ban Wan, and he eats very well in this bustling northeast market. He also has a rough understanding of some details about Lin En, such as his excellent maintenance skills and the imminent closure of the Edi store. Hee <laughs> hee. Lin shook his hand speechlessly, not thriving, not thriving, the food prices in Anning City are quite cheap. Syrup is something that can be bought for several liters at a few points, and even synthetic meat chunks cost less than 5 points per kilogram. Lin picked out the goods casually and started chatting with the boss without a word. When talking about Lin's current situation, the boss said mysteriously. You're about to develop. Lin's heart tightened. In an instant, he thought the boss had discovered his golden finger, which he relied on for a living. However, he immediately ruled out this hypothesis and calmly asked back. How to say this? You don't know yet, the boss hesitated for a moment, pulled on Matza, hooked his hook, and gestured for Lin to go over, whispering. The Grunfos Food Company in the shantytown said they want to develop this trading ground and provide orders and subsidies to all the merchants who make machinery, but they don't know what they want to do. This is a great opportunity, the boss said with a smile. If you become successful one day, don't forget me. I can't fly, crawling on the ground would be great. Lin N pulled a cart of food, weighed them one by one, and looked at the three-digit quotation on the screen of the gray swatter in shock, so expensive. Isn't this a big company coming? Syrup costs 4.1 pounds and 10 yuan for 3 pounds. It's not me slaughtering regular customers. You can ask around here, and now all the merchants in this area are at this price. Bad merchants. A pure and scrupulous merchant. The door of the ED store opened and then closed heavily, shattering the ground with dust. Lin finished dinner dragging his tired body, then immediately found a wooden board and used an oil pen to draw several twisted concentric circles on it. He then clamped the hard steel plate behind the board. This is the fixed target to be used next. 
Weighing the energy pistol in his hand, Lin cleared the garbage, collected the wires, and walked to the other side of the cabin, taking a deep breath. He has never fired a gun. Recalling the three points and one line rule from his original memory, as well as the three shooting positions of standing, lying, and kneeling, Lin felt extremely nervous. He kept comparing the crosshairs back and forth, and finally pulled the trigger. Click. No insurance. Lin awkwardly wiped the sweat off his forehead and took a long breath. At least we have overcome psychological barriers. This wave is not at a disadvantage. He opened the safety and regained his composure, shooting with one shot. The huge recoil of the gun shook the wrist, and a blue energy bullet cleverly bypassed the target and penetrated the rusty wall, creating tiny cracks. The iron house shook, rust rustled down and poured on Lin In's head. The crows outside the window, foraging in the garbage dump, flew away with a thud. Lin's face twitched. Mad. Lay steel plates around the target again, and Lin and Yi launches. Bang. Hit the target. Firearm shooting. EXP plus one Lin showed a proud smile. Bang. Bang. After shooting several times in a row, Lin's right hand was numb from the recoil, but the result of the shot was still not ideal. The bullet could only barely reach the target. I still have a lot of room for appreciation. Lin sat on the ground, looking at the pistol in his hand, recalling his previous shooting move, thinking there were still many shortcomings. The energy pistol is not heavy, but the feel is not good. Lin raised the gun high, aligning the aiming hole, sight, and target on a horizontal line, and adjusted the position of the force. He tightened his knee joint and straightened his elbow joint slightly, finding the optimal angle between the armed arm and the body through multiple shots. Shoot out with one shot. Hit the bullseye. Lin's face immediately showed a satisfied expression. He changed his posture again, shooting in standing, lying, and kneeling positions many times, seeking the best shooting movements in various positions. Stand, lie down, kneel. Bang. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. The hurried knocking on the door echoed intermittently with the gunshots, and Lin rubbed his ears before quickly walking to open the door. Outside the door, a yellow-haired man wearing a jacket with a flat haircut angrily hugged his chest and scolded Lin when he saw him slapping his head and face. Brother Lin, you didn't sleep in the middle of the night and put flowers at home. Why is today's birthday so exciting? End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Life Saving You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Life Saving Lin N was stunned for a while and finally remembered the other person's identity before realizing it later. Sorry, I'm going to sleep now. I'm going to sleep now. The young man's name is Hans, and he and Lin are old neighbors. They have also worked as volunteers together before, and their relationship is quite good. Upon hearing Lin's apology, Hans's rising anger quickly subsided. He looked at Lin's pant pocket with some curiosity. Are you practicing guns at home? Do you also want to join the lizard gang? As he spoke, he boasted and opened the zipper. A large lizard was exposed. Lin looked at the lizard pattern on Hans's shirt and was greatly shocked. He answered inexplicably, didn't you say you wanted to find a stable job to make money last time? It's been a few days. How did you join the lizard gang? Hans's shirt was previously wrapped in a plain jacket, and Lin didn't even notice his changes. Don't answer questions with questions, Hans rolled his eyes and walked into Lin's store, casually finding a chair to sit down on. There aren't so many stable jobs for you to choose from in this world. If you ask me, doing a few exciting things with the brothers in the gang is already the best job. Lying on the old sofa, Lin took a bite of the pastry in his hand, his eyes straight, and he said with confusion. How stimulating is it? Very exciting. Hans gestured, thinking for a long time before giving an example. Since I joined the gang, 
I have been going door dot to dot door with the third sister in the gang to collect protection fees. The third sister is a woman with a big chest, but some people say she used to be a man. Lin touched his forehead. It's quite exciting. You don't know, Han said as soon as he opened the door. Both of her arms have been transformed into prosthetics, and it is said that her grip strength has reached 200 kilograms. She can easily lift several people and smash a car with one punch. When Hans described the power of the third sister, his tone became exaggerated, as if praising the leader for any substantial benefits he could bring himself, but Lin, who was listening, only said lightly. Oh. This is really nothing unusual for him, as Blue Star's film and television works have greatly raised his psychological threshold. Is there a powerful snap of a finger to destroy the boss? Oh. Hans became impatient. Lin, you don't understand this at all. Her prosthetic body, her strong metal arms, is completely different from the tattered items sold in your prosthetic shop. Lin scratched his head, it was indeed true that he was selling some junk goods in the prosthetic store, but these prosthetics were not for combat use and could only be used for ordinary people's daily lives. I can't even sell it here, these scrap metals are almost growing hair. Those who can exchange prosthetics in the battlefield are all wealthy people, but they don't even go to his shop. Otherwise, he wouldn't have made a living by repairing his broken parts. Once, there was a man on the west side of the street who deliberately refused to pay money. Third sister had a conflict with him, and he suddenly pulled out a gun, almost killing me. Fortunately, in a crisis moment, your new job sounds very dangerous. But danger and opportunity coexist. As you once told me, you want to self.study mathematics and literature, apply for a position as a teacher at an experimental elementary school in a shantytown, finish work every day after class, and live a peaceful life. You don't want to be grand, you just want someone to collect the corpse. Remembering the past, Hans fell silent for a moment, but his gaze quickly became firm again. He shook his fingers and his tone became calm from the previous excitement. That's me from before. I have lived in this world for over twenty years, and the only truth I have come to realize is that poor people are not worthy to live. You know, I dream of saving money to buy a set of artificial limbs equipped with a machine gun. I dream of making my name in the whole place of fire fighting by my marksmanship and body style. I want to win the identity certificate of shantytowns, buy mobile terminals, travel on the internet, and really settle in Anning City. I don't want to be like you, guarding a rundown small shop, slowly rotting and smelling in the corner. This kind of life is meaningless, give me this opportunity, I will definitely win everything. And along the way, it's just a little wind and frost. Lin stared blankly at the resolute Hans, his sharp flat head baked a bright yellow, like a dazzling wheat on, pointing one by one towards the sky. One week later. The weather gradually became colder, and the end of the east wind added a few pieces of clothing to the pedestrians on the road. Lin sat at the table, rarely looking up to see the scenery outside the window. He saw the autumn wind swirling and gathering the dust on the old street, then suddenly blowing it away, as if in a joke. He opened the window and a gust of wind surged in, flipping the September calendar on the wall to October and then to December. Yang Gue still owes me fifty-one, Lin An's thoughts diverged and he had been away from books for a long time. During this period, he worked day and night, getting up in bed every day and firing hundreds of bullets. Then, he began to learn mechanical skills and successfully upgraded his shooting skills to LV2 level. The proficiency in mechanical manufacturing, the upper level discipline of mechanical maintenance, is also steadily improving. When it comes to feelings, there is actually not much to feel. The space in the store is limited. After Lin's shooting skills reached LV2, whether he was kneeling, standing, or quickly pulling out his gun to shoot, he hit the bullseye with just one shot. 3 meter target. The ED store still hasn't had many visitors as usual. From good to good, from evil to collapse. The reputation he lost cannot be salvaged in a day or two. 
but recently he has been feeling particularly tired. Ding dong. The electric bell rang, and Lin put down his book, feeling a little excited in his heart. There are new customers coming again. He put down his assistant and was about to go straight to open the door, but hesitated for a moment before inserting the gun on the table into his waist. Outside the door stood a man covered in tattered clothes, with a bronze medal tied around his waist and a hint of ferocity in his eyes. Seeing Lin, he couldn't help but walk in. Lin instinctively took a step back to avoid and said as usual. Lin Enyi Sports Shop, what would you like? The person looked around before finally making eye contact with Lin. I need a prosthetic limb. Lin swallowed a mouthful of saliva and touched his waist with his right hand, calmly saying. The prosthetics are all on the shelves, only the daily type is available here, without any weapons. Just tell me which one you like. These prosthetics are all old things from a few years ago, each costing less than 100 yuan. No one usually buys them, and they accumulate dust inside the store. Putting it in the store is just a facade, it doesn't make money at all. The man nodded, picked one from the shelf, weighed it in his hand, and then, turn your head and run. Grass. Come back, you haven't paid yet. Lin became anxious and instinctively pulled out his gun. After hesitating for a moment, he didn't dare to shoot his heart. He deviated by one point, brushed his arm, and the person had already flown out of the door. This cannot be blamed on Lin, after all, he lived in a safe country in his past life and did not have the experience and determination to shoot zero-dollar customers with a gun. Lin N was about to chase after him, but as soon as he lifted his foot, he felt a dizzy sensation in his brain and a prompt appeared in front of him. Life.1 Lin let out a thud in his heart, no longer caring about the person who ate the king's meal, and quickly opened the proficiency panel. Lin, Lifetime. 2643, Mechanical Maintenance LV2 Slightly Improved. 243 out of 500 Shooting LV2 Slightly Improved. 221 slash 500 Mechanical Manufacturing LV1 Initial Glimpse Door Diameter. 83 out of 100 Lin scalp is tingling. It really cost me a year. In a sense, he has now half of his body buried in the soil. How could it be like this? I've been living a regular life all along, Lin and Bai couldn't understand and began to recall the details of his previous life. This recollection connected all the details of his previous life together. Taking a few steps to help the kidneys breathe, lack of energy, and lack of attention are all warning signs of the body being under heavy pressure. Is it too late to stay up late? But I also go to bed at two o'clock in college. Lin frowned. If he were to sacrifice his life at this rate, he would die of old age before he could learn his skills. He picked up various foods on the table and began to carefully study the ingredient list. These foods are all low-dot-quality ingredients wholesale to the delivery location, with relatively simple packaging and small and concealed ingredient lists, afraid that consumers will find them. Energy stick powder is made by compressing insects such as worms and cockroaches after sterilization, and adding various additives. It contains abundant carbohydrates, proteins, and other nutrients, containing a wide range of trace elements. Half of the periodic table is inside. But it has also passed a certain food safety management monitoring, and the taste is also quite good, which can be said to be clean and hygienic. Syrup tastes a bit inferior, similar to cola, but sweeter, more flavorful, and better to drink, except for the addition of some unknown stimulating ingredients, which can be a bit tiring. You can also feel the bubbles rolling in your stomach after drinking. Lin took another bucket of tap water and looked closely, but couldn't see anything. But these waters seem different from Blue Star's tap water. Lin carefully tasted them and found that the tap water lacked the smell of chlorine gas. Lin fell silent. This world is like dog poop. Recalling the thrilling moment just now, he still couldn't help feeling angry, but a detail suddenly caught his attention. That man seems to be wearing a bronze medal around his waist. Unexpectedly, 
this is still Yang Gui's subordinate. Lin and couldn't help but laugh and cry. He called Yang Gui and told him the thrilling story that had just happened, and also said. If you encounter him at the garbage dump, remember to ask him to return the money to me. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The Way of Management You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 The Way of Management On the second day, sorry, my subordinates have caused you trouble, Nan Gui chuckled and placed a small cloth bag on Lin An's table, whispering, don't worry, he wasn't under my command. Lin took the cloth bag and counted it, which happened to be the price of the gun. Only then did his expression slightly ease. Thank you for making an extra trip today. Easy to say, easy to say, Yang Gui nodded repeatedly, then turned around gracefully, without mentioning his debt. Before Lin realized it, he had already run away in a flash. Damn it, this old thing. Lin was speechless. This old street is really a place where people are outstanding. Appreciate all kinds of wonders anytime, anywhere. Against the backdrop of others, Yang Gui surprisingly appeared to have a noble character. Before Lin En could tidy up her emotions, Su Bai, who was wearing a swimming ring, walked into Lin En's shop looking around. Big mechanic, my tricycle is broken. Can you help me repair it? Unlike the mechanical waste dumped at the nail head dock, the profit of picking up household waste is relatively low, but it also wins over safety. Auntie Subi gets up early every day and greedily rummages through the trash can, but she can still make a living. Lin was speechless, he is clearly the owner of a charity shop, and theoretically a mechanic, yet he actually does these tasks every day. Auntie Subi looked at Lin's expressionless face and thought he didn't know, but she worried and said. Ah, my three wheels are very expensive. Don't fix them for me. I still need them tomorrow. Hurry up, where are your three wheels? Lin felt helpless. He is not very skilled in vehicle maintenance, but vehicles can also be considered mechanical. From the perspective of analogy, it is impossible for him not to repair a broken tricycle. Walking out of the store, Lin found a stuck three-wheeled tractor. The tractor was loaded with garbage and the edges of the iron material were covered in rust stains, making it look like it had been used for quite some time. Can you fix it? I just drove it well and suddenly stopped. Lin walked forward and pulled out the valve. Break the pressure. Subsequently, under the shocked gaze of Auntie Sobi, the tractor chain began to twitch and make waves of noise. Hurry up. Is it really good? Auntie Subi got on the tractor with half a doubt. Lin and Shuan released the valve by hand. Green smoke rose from the chimney of the tractor one by one, and the tractor resumed operation. Mechanical maintenance. Vehicle maintenance. EXP plus one, thank you, I'll give you the money next time. Auntie Subi exclaimed in surprise. Lin touched his forehead, he didn't know if there was another time. But what he didn't know was that since this time, Auntie Subi has always praised and promoted Lin, which has really helped him regain some reputation. It's just that I didn't mention the money. Returning home, it was already noon. Lin, Lin, we must not fall down like this again. A lifeless face is depicted in the floor-to-ceiling mirror, and upon closer inspection, it bears some resemblance to a panda, exuding a strong fairy aura. In the days after his travels, Lin stayed up late every day, indulging in binge eating and drinking the bad habits developed in his past life brought into this world not only shorten his life, but also greatly reduce his learning efficiency. He decided to change everything. For the sake of good health, he immediately made a detailed schedule and decided not to stay up late and exercise every day in the future. But before that, he must address the issue of food safety. Although they can meet the needs of the human body for a day, they emit an unclean odor from inside out. Lin felt that he became so weak probably because of eating these foods. These foods are really too junk. Arriving at the market, the atmosphere today was somewhat peculiar. A large group of construction workers were tinkling and tapping, while a group of people were pointing and pointing, 
as if they were repairing a building. Flyers from Grunfo's company can be seen everywhere on the market board houses. As he walked straight to Banwin's food store, Lin En saw the owner with a worried expression on his face. The metal walnuts in his hand were missing, and he was feeling lethargic. He didn't even see them when he came. What's wrong? Realizing the desolation of the small shop, Lin asked with some concern. Recently, business has been sluggish, the boss sighed and slowly stood up against the wall, walking out of the store. The Grunfos company is coming. The boss tore off the flyer pasted on his store door, pointing to the numbers on it, full of anger. Their pricing is too low, two points per kilogram of syrup, so they can't even earn back a penny. I work as a middleman, taking goods from three small workshops in the central and southeastern regions. However, all the syrup workshops in the trading areas cannot keep the cost so low now. When the company comes, what will we eat? Lin touched his forehead. The price reduction is actually good news for consumers. The joys and sorrows of humanity are not interconnected. Lin looked at the price tag of the food, his eyelids twitched, and these goods became incredibly expensive, looking like the last craze of the small workshop. This is about to make the last run. Lin coughed and regained the boss's attention before slowly revealing the purpose of his trip. Do you want clean food? The boss frowned and said with some uncertainty. How about I wash the energy stick for you? No, what I mean is food with better ingredients, Lin said with both hands, expressing his desire to eat normal foods such as seafood, meat and vegetables. The boss finally understood and said. Oh. If you want that kind of high-end goods from the city, then it's too expensive. Why, did you come for a transfer? The boss looked up and down at Lin's shabby attire, and he didn't feel like it. Lin En was taken aback. He had not received any orders from Grunfos recently. This is very normal. There won't be any big companies giving him orders. Ban Wen was intentionally entertaining him. There is no workshop here that can have that kind of manufacturing process, and those high-end raw materials are not shipped to me at all. If you want to eat those things, you can go to the Ambition restaurant at the market and ask, but most people can't bear to eat there the boss gave a thumbs up. Lin looked at the restaurant in the distance, lost in thought. After a moment, Lin and walked out of the market with a constipated expression on his face. He had already returned with a poor wallet and failed. This is also too expensive. There are hundreds of Chinese cabbage, who can afford it. His small cart was filled with a large amount of inferior food again, and there was really no other way but to eat these things. Since it is impossible to regulate the body through diet, we can only exercise and exercise. Lin and secretly made up his mind to exercise well after returning home. Suddenly, his afterglow captured a figure. A man in a tattered leather jacket has been following him for a long time. Lin's footsteps quickened slightly. But the other party's footsteps also accelerated, sticking behind Lin, waiting for the opportunity to take action. As if sensing the cold gaze from the other person, Lin's scalp tingled. He definitely can't go home now. Once you go home, it's like exposing your home address, and there may be some surprises waiting for you in the future. The alleys on both sides of the old street are like huge mouths devouring people, dark and revealing a hint of ominous meaning. Approaching the alley entrance, Lin suddenly changed gears and turned into a small alley, disappearing into the old street. The man was startled and clenched the pistol in his pocket with his right hand, following the sound of distant footsteps as he walked through the alley. Lin, who was already physically exhausted, had his heart pounding, and his large gasps exposed his position. Now he couldn't help but cry in his heart. If I had known it before, I would have been exercising well. His running speed is getting slower and slower, and if it continues like this, he will definitely be caught up. Instead of wasting energy in fleeing, it's better to directly fight. With a fierce heart, he stopped his steps and pulled out his gun, aiming it at the wall at one end of the alley. The man with a gun rushed over, 
and in the moment he saw the muzzle, he himself also raised the gun. Bang! Lin instinctively pulled the trigger. A leaping blue light shot out of the barrel, accurately shattering the man's chest. His upper body was electrocuted, and his widened eyes were filled with disbelief, as if he had not expected Lin to shoot so decisively. The man fell to the ground with a thud and remained silent. In a panic, Lin ran quickly into the house, slammed the door shut, and covered his thumping heart. Lying down, I'm so awesome. In film and television works, the protagonist who kills someone for the first time is often described as panicked, nauseous, and nauseous, and it takes a long time to accept this fact. But the fact is, Lin doesn't have any unusual feelings now. He just lightly pressed the trigger on someone and didn't engage in a bloody battle in the field of cold weapons. After killing, the rapid secretion of adrenaline diluted the sense of fear. As for the ferocious corpse, Lin doesn't have much impression now, as if his brain automatically filters out excess information for him. He only feels a moment of fear now. If I hadn't practiced shooting, I'm afraid I would be the one who died now. Perhaps only in the quiet of the night, or one day in the future, will he suddenly remember what he did today, empathize with the victim, and then feel a wave of fear and anxiety. That evening, Lin En changed his previous slump, cleared up a space, and even started doing push-ups. He slowly used his hands to explore the ground, keeping his body in a straight line from the shoulders to the ankles. His arms were placed in the chest position, and the distance between his hands was slightly wider than his shoulders. Holding this motion, he quickly shed sweat. My elbows were slightly bent, but as soon as I bent, I had to straighten them again, and my arms began to tremble. He can't do a single one. Exercise. EXP plus one, flutter. Lin collapsed on the ground. He was already exhausted with just a slight move. Opening the panel, there is indeed an additional beginner's guide to exercise LV1, 1 slash 100, on the panel. As long as you persist, your proficiency will gradually improve and your physical fitness will also gradually improve. Come again. Lin supported his kidney, still unwilling, and got up again. His arms trembled uncontrollably, he just pressed his lower body down. Despite this, he worked very hard, and after doing one or two, he collapsed on the ground like bones, sweating through his clothes. In countless training sessions, Lin clearly felt the strength of his arms gradually increasing. He, who used to be unable to do a push-up, could now slowly make one. Lin was feverish all over, but the soreness in his body was gradually subsiding. His strained muscles quickly repaired, and his body returned to its peak state of panel locking. He can clearly feel that his rapid breathing is gradually becoming longer, and his physical fitness is also rapidly increasing. He felt a trickle of heat in his body, and a perfect balance was formed between the growth of his muscles and the exhaustion of his body. At this moment, he even felt a hint of happiness. After two hours of exercise, Lin's exercise proficiency has increased by ten points. He dared not slack off and simply took a hot shower before sitting at his desk studying theoretical knowledge and imagining his future life, feeling somewhat confused. Life is getting better, which is obvious. Opening the curtains, the sky has become dim. He gazed at the towering city called Anning in the distance, with skyscrapers and scattered technology towers illuminating the entire city. From the glass surface of a certain building, a huge white woman's face peeked out. She was scratching her head, her skin was fragile, and her red lips were hot. That was an advertisement for genetic beauty products. Lin smiled. What kind of scenery is in the city? I really want to go and see it. A commotion shattered the silence of the old street, followed by the shouts of several people and the sound of broken glass. Before Lin could react, the sound of the assault rifle strafing came like pouring beans. Amidst the gunfire, there was the thump of the body falling to the ground. Lin drew the curtains and remained silent. The next day, the electric bell rang, and Lin's expression shook as he caressed the protrusion on his waist with his right hand, feeling a little relieved. 
He breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the person coming. The one who came in was Aunt Soby who had her tractor repaired a few days ago. Auntie, the tractor is broken again. He instinctively asked and only then did he realize that there was actually a person behind Aunt Soby. This is a very old-looking person, recognized by Lin. He is the neighbor who lives across from him and runs a small shop. Everyone calls him Lao Lu. But he is only in his forties. In this battlefield, he can also be considered an old birthday star. But Lin rarely goes to Lao Lu's small shop to buy things. He relies on himself to be the only small shop in this area, selling things much higher than the market price. It is said that he often conflicts with customers. Lin would rather walk a few more steps to the market to buy. Lin, this is your old Uncle Lu. His phone is broken. Can you repair it? Auntie Subi warmly greeted her. Can it be done? Old Lu looked at Lin and suspiciously. If it weren't for Su Bai's mother not knowing what was wrong and tirelessly praising her every day, he wouldn't have asked Lin An to fix his phone. What is Lin's existence? Every village knows that he is a stinky hand. Repairing things is like seeing a doctor. Some people, even if they have a small cold, hope to become an expert director. What are you saying? Since you're here, don't say these annoying things. I just repaired things here with him, and I can still intentionally deceive you. Aunt Sue is a bit unhappy. Lin took the phone and roughly checked it. He had a rough idea in his mind and spat out his embroidery. Five o'clock, no credit at all. What, why don't you even pay on credit? Lao Lu frowned and snorted coldly, I still need money to repair my phone. If I don't pay on credit, I won't pay. But if you fix it for me, you'll have to pay the original price. I bought this phone for over 30 yuan. Lin was speechless, secretly thinking that these people had too low a vision. Because there is no internet. There is a signal tower in the area of the exchange of fire, where people can make phone calls to each other, but there is no internet connection. To access the internet with a mobile phone, it comes at a great cost. You must enter Anning City, get a mobile terminal, and apply for network access protocols. Lin removed the back cover, replaced a battery, and returned the phone intact to the other party. The lithium.ion battery has aged, just replace it with a new one. What? Old Lu was shocked. Just tinker with it for a while and it will be fixed. How can I give you five points if you just do this? Why not? Lin was a bit angry. Are you saying it's not fixed yet? You think I'm just doing it, but if you want to know where to do it, you have to go through years of practice. After this battle, Lin's reputation began to show. Everyone around here knows that there is a person who is very skilled in repairing tatters, selling dog meat with a sheep's head hanging from a prosthetic shop, so heroes from all walks of life come one after another. Master, my alarm clock is broken. Do you think you can fix it? Master, my bicycle chain has fallen off. Can you replace it here? Master, my girlfriend ran away with someone else, this really doesn't work. Lin sternly rejected the unreasonable ones and used a gun to force away the ones who wanted to buy for zero yuan, in order to barely survive. Most of the people who come and go are old men and women. At most, there are a few bronze metal customers picking up garbage at Ding Tu Dock. Come and ask Lin to renovate the metal garbage so that it can sell for a better price. I don't know if it was introduced by Yang Gui. His income is also on the rise, and repairing a piece of junk only earns an average of a few points, after all, not everyone can find good goods like Yang Gui. Business is good every day, and around ten people come in to fix garbage, business is not good, there are also four or five, I didn't earn much, but it was enough to survive. That night, after reading a book on mechanics, Lin did a set of push-ups and squats, took a hot bath with boiled water, and went to bed early. Sleeping soundly, suddenly Lin woke up. He seemed to hear a loud voice in his dream, after thinking for a while, he finally remembered that it seemed like a gunshot close at hand. 
Lin swallowed his saliva and pulled out a gun from under the pillow, he was tense all over. But then nothing happened. Lin fell asleep again in a daze, and got up early the next morning. The old Lu shop across the street was crowded with people outside. Lin put on his clothes and walked over to take a look, the atmosphere is somewhat eerie. What's going on? Auntie Subi appeared a bit flustered. When she saw Lin coming, she hurriedly went over and whispered, Don't you know, the gunshots from last night. I know, Lin said, it was the loud gunshot that woke him up. Old Lu died. Ah. Dead. Lin and was stunned. A few days ago, I felt like he was an old man and could live in his forties in this environment. In just a few days now, this person will die. How did you die? Killed with a gun. I know what I mean, why did he have someone kill him? I heard a young man was buying things from him, thinking that the things he was selling were too expensive, and the two of them started arguing, said Auntie Subi after looking around, then, the young man shot and killed Lao Lu. Is it that simple? Otherwise. Lin couldn't help but feel a chill from the bottom of his heart, old Lu, although a bit unkind, is always calculating and likes to take advantage of small gains. But the people on the old street are like this. He is separated from Lao Lu by a street, and both of them have stores. Today is Lao Lu, and tomorrow may be himself. This place is really unfriendly to shop owners. Lin also secretly decided in his heart that if he encounters someone who buys for zero yuan again in the future, he might as well let them take it. The loss is nothing more than a little money. It's not cost-effective to risk one's life with these people. Otherwise, this place is not very good, everyone wants to move out. Subi Auntie whispered in a low voice. Like Sunway at the east end of the street two years ago, didn't he just save enough money to go to the market and move out of the old street? Lin En nodded. He had also heard of the name Sun Wei, who was the S-O-N that I N. Law of one of his neighbors. He was constantly talked about by that neighbor, but later it seemed like he had learned the art of assembling guns from a beggar and developed it. That's when he moved to live in the market. There are people from the lizard gang in the market to protect them from committing crimes every minute. Isn't it true that the housing prices at the market have recently risen again? I heard that even one square meter now costs over 3,000 points. A bitter neighbor said. Several people spontaneously came back to discuss this topic. What, last time I saw it was still 281 square meters. It's only been two months now, why has the price increased again? Damn it, I can't afford a toilet with all my wealth combined. Returning home, Lin's face wore a hint of melancholy. This place is too dangerous. For the sake of his personal safety, he also wants to move into the market. During the conversation just now, he took the time to inquire about the housing prices in the market and found that they were unexpectedly expensive. We still need to make money. Life is not easy, Lin sighed. Fortunately, he doesn't have nothing. There is also a charity shop dedicated to repairing broken children that can barely manage. We can't just fix the junk. Lin N made up his mind. The good thing about doing this job is stable income and being able to make a living, but the disadvantages are also very obvious. It can't make a lot of money. By just playing around like this, we can at most help our neighbors and regain some of their reputation. Not to mention those unscrupulous people who take credit and are greedy for small gains. It's a long way off to save enough money to rent a house in the market. If we talk about Lin's current abilities, he can be considered a leader among the Edie stores on the entire street. If this continues, it will be Chu Kai. We must transform. So today, Lin went all over the Edie shops on the street, wanting to understand what they were all selling. There are still several charity shops on this old street. Lin En's family looked over and found that the environment of these shops was cleaner than Lin En's, and their business was more prosperous than Lin En's. Some people even know Lin and proactively greet this colleague. But surprisingly, not a single one inside is selling charity bodies. 
The things inside are still similar to those in Lin's store, but the difference is that there are various types of guns added, the few prosthetic arms, surprisingly, were unique to Lin and shop, like long clothes that Kong Yiji couldn't take off. With such doubts in mind, Lin consulted a professional. Saying it's a Edi store, that's a unified name. I originally wanted to do Edi. The owner of a charity shop stalls his hands. But those are all things from the city that poor people can't afford. Look, I'm already in the old street branch, don't we need to be more down dot to dot earth and sell some screwdrivers and screwdrivers in the store? Lin suddenly realized. Oh. I used to run a hardware store. The boss lowered his voice and gestured for Lin to lean over, whispering. I also heard that the beggars in that city have metal prosthetics. Those people are the top ones in our firefight areas, but they can only be beggars in the city. If we can open a shop in the city, we really need to make a lot of money. You think, beggars already have spare money to install prosthetics, not to mention the others. Is that right? Lin listened to the boss's boasting and repeatedly agreed. I have a friend who was born in a place of war and has been in the city for three years. The boss suddenly straightened his chest and said to Yu Rongyan, they rely on their own efforts. Listen to me, he has a lot of foresight and has been planting food before the famine. Lin wiped his sweat. That day, he told me that the dogs in that city have titanium alloy eyes. Lin was shocked. What? So awesome. The boss thought so, anyway, even a dog has to be nurtured in the peaceful city. I bought several guns from several shops in the same industry, returning home, Lin roughly figured out the way. Making guns is the most profitable. Nothing else is possible. No one bought any prosthetics at all. Rich people buy from famous masters in the market, who is shopping and consuming at this roadside stall. Those who come and go on the old streets, from young to old, have bulging pockets, this gun is likely to be worth more than their entire being. That also needs to be bought. Without a gun, you don't even have the confidence to rob a bank. That evening, Lin began dismantling the parts of the firearm. Successfully achieved proficiency. Mechanics. Mechanical maintenance. Firearms maintenance. EXP plus 1, mechanics. Mechanical manufacturing. Firearms manufacturing. EXP plus 1, firearms can also be considered as machinery, and their maintenance and manufacturing are all subsets of mechanics. In the theoretical work that Lin studied, there is also a shadow of the structure of firearms. So, for Lin, he doesn't need to learn the skills of repairing and manufacturing firearms from scratch, but the progress bar is half full from the beginning. At this speed, I estimate it won't take me a week to manufacture my own gun. Lin yawned. Three days later, Lin began to consider, what type of template should be made for the first gun. The firearms at the current exchange of fire can be roughly divided into two types. One is kinetic energy weapons, and the other is technical weapons. As the name suggests, kinetic energy weapons are weapons that can fire bullets that move at ultra-high speeds and use kinetic energy to destroy targets through direct collisions. Technical weapons refer to weapons that use electromagnetic energy to propel all metal ammunition to extreme speeds, used to penetrate shelters or walls. But now most of the technological weapons on the market at the exchange of fire cannot meet this standard, and almost all are adapted to the SP-1 blue laser battery manufactured by a Taki company to launch energy bullets. The killing power is just like that. After comprehensive research, he still plans to manufacture a crude technical weapon. This is quite cool and sells well. The components of technological weapons can be briefly divided into five modules. Energy extraction and supply system, stabilizer, energy output end, welding device, and absorption shield. Among them, the most important is the absorption shield. This component can be used to absorb excess ionizing radiation and prevent users from developing leukemia. Even if nothing else is installed, this one needs to be installed. 
but where do the ingredients for these things come from? Lin first thought of Yang Gui. Hello, Mr. Lin, don't be safe. Yang Gui's hoarse voice came in. Long story short. Lin let out a breath and said directly, I want to do some industrial transformation. I know you have a lot of influence in Ding Tu Dock. I need 20 voltage stabilizers, 20 SP.1 blue laser generators and batteries, 30 kilograms of type 1 standard steel, and 10 SP.2 rapid blue laser generators. I have a lathe here, so you don't have to trouble. Take some time to withdraw the money, it won't be less. The SP-2 Rapid Blue Laser Generator is an upgraded version of the SP-1 Blue Laser Emitter, with certain penetration capabilities. It is the basic model released by Ataki Energy many years ago. There was a moment of silence on the other end of the phone, and the voice suddenly rose by an octave. Mr. Lin, you're going to get rich. If you have the ability, tell me earlier. Yang Gui is in a hurry. He is really anxious. After so many days, he searched everywhere for arms wholesale stores that could lower prices, but couldn't find them. As long as he can arm the bronze medalists and engage in direct combat with the lizard gang, it is not entirely impossible for him to occupy a portion of the Dinghead Fortress. I didn't expect this opportunity to be right in front of me. I can get all these things you said. Let's wait until tomorrow. I'll talk to you in person tomorrow. The next day, Yang Gui is here. I started chatting with Lin. 2000, just 2000. Lin's face twitched. 2000 is almost all of his savings, and there are still a few hundred left for him to eat. Yang Gui extended five fingers, Boss Lin, you're not being sincere. You can't buy these things for 2000, at least 2005. 2000. 2005. That's it. Lin suddenly said, 2000 yuan, I'll give you priority in making it. It turns out that SP.1 guns usually cost at least 30. 1 yuan. If you wholesale them to bronze metal customers, I'll give you an 80% discount. Deal, Yang Guishuang said quickly, and with a slight calculation, he knew it was his own gain. But he wasn't in a hurry to leave. The two of them were brewing tea, and we started chatting one by one. While drinking tea, Yang Gui kept looking at Lin En's face and suddenly said suspiciously, Boss Lin, have you lost weight? He looked closer and a surprised expression appeared on his eyebrows. The black circles under his eyes have also faded. Hee <laughs> hee. Lin smiled, this is exactly the result of his fitness exercise in the past few days. Since his birthday came to an end a few days ago, he has made up his mind to stay away from unhealthy habits. Oh my, Yang Guiyue said with a hint of bitterness as he tasted the tea. Brother, after all these years of friendship with you, we can say we're going to see you make a fortune. It's just making a few guns. There are so many shops on this old street, do you always say that it's going to make a fortune when you go to each shop? Lin smiled and said. This is different. Yang Gui shook his head. Believe my judgment of people, you dare to buy SP. Two rapid shooting blue laser accessories yourself. Do you dare to say that you really don't understand T2 level firearms? Lin certainly knows the origin of the energy level theory. Energy level is a commonly used method of measuring power in the city of Anning, which is divided from low to high into T1 to T9. The vast majority of firearms in the firefight area are T1 level. This type of firearm doesn't require a very advanced production line. A person can make it by themselves with raw materials after reading for a few weeks, at most it will take some effort. Of course, the power cannot be praised. During this period, Lin fired at least 100 bullets every day, and in multiple rounds of shooting, he also discovered this fact. The firing rate of energy bullets is not very fast, and their killing power is like being castrated. Healthy men should be able to avoid critical areas when they are focused, at least far inferior to kinetic energy weapons in their past lives. But that doesn't mean it can't kill anyone with just one shot. 
Lin was dumbfounded. Yang Gui is quite a knowledgeable person. He did have such a plan, intending to wait until the proficiency of the firearms manufacturing subset exceeded LV-2 and replace SP.1 with SP.2 rapid-firing blue laser accessories. The former has a higher energy output power and stronger lethality than the latter, of course, it is even more difficult to assemble into firearms. Of course, the profit is also higher. That afternoon, Lin made his first new gun. This gun is strictly modeled after the T1-level energy pistol that Lin has, including the trademark, which is exactly the same. Anyway, in this battlefield, no one cares about these things. There won't be any big companies suing Lin. He weighed the two. The weight is similar. I checked the appearance again. The appearance is the same. Next, let's experiment with its power. Lin took a slow breath and stood in front of the metal target, carrying the prototype and replica of the energy pistol. A professional energy impulse sensor was installed behind the target, and they were tested separately. Bang! The sensor screen flashes. T1.2 next is the imitation. Bang! T1.3, alright, almost. Lin and Ro relieved the burden with a slight margin of error within an acceptable range, which means he has already manufactured the first gun. From then on, the business scope of Lin Enyi's physical fitness store went beyond just repairing old and dilapidated items. It's repairing junk and selling guns. This is a milestone progress. A week has passed. Seven days is enough time for a person to complete many things, such as starting from scratch to complete summer homework taking a surprise final exam, or finishing a novel. For Lin En, these seven days have brought him significant improvement. After his tireless efforts day and night, his firearms manufacturing, training, shooting and other skills have all reached LV2 level, and mechanical maintenance is not far from LV3 level. Of course, exercising should be done step by step. As long as he doesn't die, his body will always become stronger and stronger. On this day, Lin was running on the treadmill, and the lead gray morning light shone through the curtains. It's 5.35 a.m. now. A lot of new furniture has been added to the back room of the ED store, such as the treadmill he just used, which he made himself from scrap metal during his leisure time. In addition, there is an additional simple lathe, with scattered tools such as screwdrivers, files, screwdrivers, hammers, etc. neatly stored in the toolbox, and even the wires on the ground are more organized. The welcome area has been completely transformed. Lin En has been sweeping the floor every day these days, and the radial stains on the floor have also been brushed by Lin En with a cleaning agent. When he encounters stains that cannot be wiped off, he uses a file to remove them bit by bit. The dust on the shelves was also cleaned up, and the unwanted body on it was taken down by Lin. The surface was cleaned once, and then refurbished using the knowledge he had just learned, which did not look unsightly. A series of well-crafted energy pistols and revolvers are placed on the shelves, all of which have been Lin's hard work for the past week. Lin walked off the treadmill, wiped his face with a towel, and the machine behind him beeped twice, returning to silence. His figure was reflected in the ground mirror. With bright and lively eyes, the excess fat in the abdomen has decreased, and the muscles in the limbs are tight. The muscles in the lower abdomen can be faintly seen. Looking in the mirror, Lin became playful and gestured for victory. A disciplined life doesn't require an explanation. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Old Hunter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Old Hunter, a genuine and high dot quality product. Yang Gui took the prototype of the gun, carefully examined it, opened the safety, then closed it again, and nodded excitedly. As previously agreed, I'll give you 24 o'clock for one, and you'll need a total of 100, which is 2,400 points. Several bronze medalists with bronze medals hanging around their waists were busy transporting firearms to the car, and a transparent card was handed to Lin In's hand. His index finger crossed a thin and transparent metal card, 
and a series of four-digit numbers were immediately projected onto it. Lin blinked his eyes, twisted his arm, and repeatedly confirmed that it was not a dream. We really need to make a fortune. Lin's heart was overjoyed, as long as he spent tens of thousands of savings, he could move the entire charity store to the market, stay away from this dispute, and experience a new life. It's like starting a new DLC online on Earth. Boss Lin, if you can successfully manufacture a T2 level firearm, please let me know. Yang Gui's path is full of longing. Mechanists who can create T2 level machines are all sought after by major forces. If I could take the lead and own Lin's source of goods, then the group of bronze metal customers would have grown. At that time, we could easily destroy those people's protective prosthetics with guns alone, even if we were to compete with the lizard gang, it was not impossible. Boss Lin, if it really happens then, you can share the profits of Ding Tu Dok. Yang Gueyue spoke more and more vigorously, and Lin and coughed. Let's talk more. Before leaving, Yang Gue still reluctantly said, Boss Lin, if I learn the technique of making guns from you, can you teach me? Uh, any amount of money is fine. If you can learn, I will definitely teach. Let's make a deal then. Yang Gui felt like he had taken a reassuring pill. When I finish this job and grab the fourth garbage mountain of Dingtuo, I'll come back and learn how to make guns with you. Yang Gui has left. Lin En shook his head. If you really want to learn, why wait? It's not certain whether someone who claims to learn later will learn or not. Yang Guigong left, Lin's heart suddenly moved, a wave of regret surged in my heart. It's broken, I forgot to ask him for that 50 yuan. Forget it wait for next time. Lin felt depressed for a moment and put some extra inventory back in. The person who came to repair today looked at the guns on Lin's shelf and was amazed. Boss Lin is getting rich, how can he find a source of goods to sell guns? The source of wealth is expanding, Lin just smiled and didn't deny it. It doesn't matter whether he made this gun himself or not. Many ED stores are distributors who take other people's goods, buy at low prices, and sell at high prices. But this is not his business model. Auntie Subi accidentally found out that Lin's shelf had a new gun on it, but she didn't compliment him like everyone else. Instead, she quickly came to the store and earnestly advised him. You child, how could you sell guns? Selling guns is so dangerous, it may not necessarily reach anyone's ears. In her impression, guns have always been associated with words such as death and danger. Lin knew that this was because the other party was concerned about her own safety, and it was also kind words that persuaded her to leave. The news of Lin Enyi's gym selling guns spread like wildfire, causing a huge uproar among neighbors, some humanitarians. Lin is doing great. I can make guns now, so I'm afraid I won't earn three melons and two dates every day. Maybe they'll move to the market in a few days. Just like the one before. Some people also hold opposing views. What's wrong with doing this? I have to do this. Entangled with those people, refusing to engage in the business of making a good living. Several other charity shops on the old street have also received this news. Everyone was speechless. Lin and went to their place a few days ago to buy a gun. Why haven't he seen them for a few days? His own store also sells firearms. But they don't think it's Lin En who made it, they all think he found a way to distribute it. Lin En is not very familiar with all of this. During this period, he took advantage of the hot iron and built several new gun prototypes, this includes kinetic energy pistols for shooting bullets, as well as some other types of technical pistols, during this period, there were occasional people who came to purchase his pistol, the daily income is also steadily increasing, with a daily salary of several hundred points, after calculation, we can now purchase some high dot end ingredients. Arriving at the market, Lin headed straight to Ambition Hotel, hello, have you made a reservation before and do you have a membership card? Miss wore a professional smile on her face. None of them, Lin said. I'm here to buy ingredients from the kitchen. 
This is another function of Ambition Restaurant, which has a special food supply channel inside. Many ingredients are imported from the agricultural greenhouses outside Anning City. Some knowledgeable and wealthy people are accustomed to buying ingredients here and cooking them at home. Eating here is still too expensive for Lin. This way, please. Lin followed him all the way to a courtyard led by the kitchen. The yard is divided into two parts, one of which sells natural foods that are not mixed with too much technology, and even Lin can recognize their original appearance. The other part is selling high.end imported food from Anning City. The good thing about these foods is that they use normal ingredients and have a production date, which looks quite professional and probably won't kill anyone. Lin N blinked. Cabbage, 19.9 slash kg, carrots, 29.9 slash kg, pork, 39.9 slash kg, apples. To be honest, it's a bit expensive. But Lin used advanced mathematics to calculate a little and found that he could still afford to eat with his own income, but he couldn't save money even if he had to eat every day. He said. This, 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 all come in one pound. This comes in two pounds. In addition, he also bought a bit more high.end energy drinks and energy bars that are made of carefully selected materials. The main thing is to eat this, natural food is just an added bonus. When he returned home, he clumsily cooked a plate of cabbage and pork, and the pungent aroma hit Lin En, who wanted to cry at this moment. In an unfamiliar world, only his taste buds still hold a hint of familiarity. Another period of time has passed, after reducing the intake of substandard food, Lin's physical strength seems to have improved, he doesn't have diarrhea at night, and he doesn't take a nap in the morning. It's delicious to eat. Lin's lifespan has increased a bit. On this day, Hans rang the Lin's electric bell, as soon as you enter the door, say. Brother Lin, you haven't paid your protection fee this month yet. How about it? Do you need to extend some more time to you? Hmm. Lin grinned wryly, there's no need for that. I have money. As he spoke, he patted the money bag containing a hundred equivalent pieces of broken copper into Hans's hand. Are you rich? Hans was surprised. He clearly remembers that Lin used to procrastinate on protection fees and couldn't help but plead with collectors. I thought I could play a trick on the lizard gang by helping them with tasks and becoming a debt collector, I didn't expect him to have developed. Turning his head to look at the guns on the shelf, Hans was amazed. Who provided you with the source of goods? I made it all myself, Lin said proudly, why don't you join the lizard gang and be responsible for collecting rent? How's this job? Hee <laughs> hee. Hans smiled, this job is very easy, Lin. As long as I walk around the street every day, even if I don't do anything, countless people are willing to give me more money. Lin nodded. It sounds like a beggar. Seeing Hans's expression showing a faint tendency towards collapse, Lin said again. Why didn't your third sister come with you? They are very busy, and I just need to do things like debt collection on my own, Hans said. If you encounter something that you really can't afford, just let it go. Waiting for someone to deal with them naturally has nothing to do with me. Lin also had some envy. Rent collection. What a great profession. He also wants to work in this industry. But the threshold for this profession is a bit high, not something that ordinary people can do. And Lin's current job, in a sense, is to prepare for future rent collection. At midnight that day, he had a simple and unadorned dream, dreaming of countless houses, no longer have to struggle for a livelihood, from birth, you can reach out for clothes and open your mouth for food. Pop. My beautiful dream has shattered. Very sudden. At this moment, Lin thought it was because the dream was too wonderful, it would be impolite to continue showing it. But he thought back, but cold grew everywhere. The sound of my dream breaking just now seems to be coming from reality. He listened carefully and heard the faint friction of the clothes, someone is quietly moving in the living room. It's broken. Lin and Ro fell into an ice cave, draw a gun from under the pillow. 
aiming at the bedroom door. The bed is at a certain distance from the bedroom door, much like a fixed target of 3 meters, if he hadn't practiced shooting, he might not have been able to accurately hit the target. Now, the door slowly opens frame by frame. Bang! Lin fired directly and shot through the wooden door, knocking the latter's head out with just one shot. This gun was made by him, of course he knows if he can pierce through the wooden door. Crows flew in waves outside the window, after confirming again and again that there were no other sounds, Lin just turned on the light and slowly looked over. Like a big watermelon bursting with maggots. Very humble. Lin's overnight meal seemed to surge into his stomach and digest it again. I killed someone, Lin murmured to himself, but he later realized that this didn't seem to be the first person he killed. Suppressing nausea and cleaning the scene, Lin decided to change his ways, last time I killed someone, I didn't touch the body, it must be changed. He walked up to the headless knight and began to explore, I found out several tens of yuan. There is also a poorly made gun. There's not much oil or water. The one with oil and water is usually the one killed. That night, Lin can't sleep anymore. He is very uneasy now. This person doesn't have any identification and doesn't even know who they are, but Lin can infer. Perhaps other charity shops came to crack down on business and used physical attack techniques, it could also be a simple thief who came in. Wealth is not revealed. Lin clearly hasn't truly understood this sentence yet. This period of time has been too high. Profile, Lin and realized later and felt a wave of fear. If it weren't for him exercising every day and sleeping soundly, if it weren't for his daily shooting and precise marksmanship, maybe already dead. That night, Lin and called Yang Gui. It's so late, aren't you sleeping? Yang Gui said irritably, and his words suddenly stopped abruptly, becoming urgent. Did you create a T2 weapon? Tell me quickly. No, Lin said, that's not the case. What I mean is, someone tried to kill me tonight and I killed them. Can you send someone with a bronze medal to help me open the door tonight? I'm afraid I might have some unexpected problems. Yang Gui was furious. Who dares to touch my strategist? On that day, Yang Gui claimed that Lin En was already under protection. The next morning, a group of neighbors gathered together to chat, who was the gunshot from last night. I'm scared to death. So close. I don't know whose family has contracted another plague. Auntie Subi recalled the gunshots from last night and looked at Lin Enyi's gym, the frightened way. It seems like Lin died. Ah. Is it really fake? That's probably right, the gunshot came from that direction. Some people are heartbroken. I've already told him not to do these dangerous jobs and that he can make a living and eat well. Yes, yes. It's a pity to be so young. Fortunately, I didn't introduce him to anyone. If I did, it would make him a widow as soon as he got married. At this point, Lin En is here. A group of people looked at each other, everyone started blaming Aunt Sobi. She likes to spread rumors. What's wrong? Lin pretended to ask, after learning about the cause and effect of the situation he also repeatedly agreed. It's too scary. I was sleeping at home when suddenly I heard gunshots, I didn't fall asleep again. Everyone nodded and said, I'm not saying it. Three days later at midnight, Lin is sleeping, suddenly, I heard someone shouting loudly outside the door. Gunshots rang out, flutter. Someone died in front of Lin's store. Then came the sound of dragging the body, the next day, Lin got up and took a look, everything goes as usual. Just like the streets after heavy rain. And in a charity shop located on the old street, the boss is on the phone, the person on the other end of the phone has a bad tone. I can't move, someone else is covering me up. Let's just let this heart die. Because the intelligence was not provided properly, we lost our lives and you have to compensate separately. The boss's face immediately turned pale. He originally wanted to pressure Lin's new supply channel, I didn't expect to lose both my wife and my soldiers. 
knocking the mountain and shaking the tiger, in a moment, the entire street of charity shops knows about Lin's current situation. He is someone with a background. About a month has passed. On this day, Lin's firearms manufacturing sub-project has successfully broken through to LV2 level, and he feels a cracking sensation. He has a new understanding of firearms knowledge in his mind. Even making T2-level firearms is easy to catch. He built a functional firearm around an already prepared SP.2 fast-shooting blue laser generator, which still resembled the ordinary handgun in appearance. However, due to circuit limitations, the outer shell had to be expanded a bit, replaced with a new mold, and the surface was carved more finely. After making a few, Lin felt relieved for a moment, speaking of which, it's been a long time since I saw Yang Gui. Lin thought to himself. Since I entrusted Yang Gui to protect me a month ago, he never contacted the other party again, at this point, I have successfully crafted a T2 level weapon. He took out his phone and called Yang Gui. Yang Gui didn't answer. Lin frowned, but didn't care. Just casually updated the weapon. The pricing is more than twice as expensive as the T1 class pistol equipped with SP.1 blue laser. Customers who come and go have seen the pricing of T2 level weapons, and as expected, none of them have bought them. Lin doesn't care either. It's impossible not to sell. Yang Guihui will help him recycle it. Time passed by hastily, and it was already the end of the month. The pedestrians on the old streets are usually very separated, and they will treat every passerby equally with a vigilant and guarded attitude, regardless of whether they are men or women. For the old hunter Edmund, other people's guard is always unfairly distributed to him, all thanks to his appearance. He is tall and tall, with a huge hooked nose and sharp eyes gouging out everyone. He carried a handgun still emitting gun smoke, and the plasma of unknown creatures flowed along the barrel into a stream, staining his pants legs and dripping into his boots. He walked on the old street, forming a circle of uninhabited areas around him, but his turnover rate was extremely high. He stopped in his tracks. Looking at the door in front of me. Lin Enyi Sports Store, hunters are almost the most insignificant group in the entire battlefield. They are constantly on the brink of life and death, and once they survive, they will use the rewards of this hunt to indulge in the market. Alcohol, cards, opposite sex hormones, that's what they want. Disputes, business wars, and intrigues have nothing to do with them. Surprisingly, only this charity store doesn't need to queue up for reservations. Recently, for some unknown reason, almost all of the ED stores have received orders from Grunfo's company and started to get busy. Except for Lin. Edmund is not from the old street. Although he has heard some rumors, he does not know the specific level of maintenance skills of this Lin shop owner, and is still willing to give him a chance to showcase his skills. The doorbell rings. Lin happily opened the door to welcome the guests, but instinctively took a step back when he saw the visitors clearly. Usually he can only see hunters at the market. Lin has always kept a distance from this group. What do you need? My cannon is broken, can you fix it? Edmund walked into the store, first surveying the neatly arranged shelves, then scanning around before finally turning his gaze to Lin. At the very least, this shop owner gave him a good impression of the cleanliness of the furnishings. As for whether it's just a matter of gold and jade, there are also other details to be said. Lin took the slightly heavy handgun with both hands and was secretly surprised. After exercising, he did a pull dot up like eating and drinking water, but still couldn't lift the weapon in front of him. It's hard to imagine how immense the power of this hunter is. He has not even undergone prosthetic modifications. Placing the handgun on the table, Lin inspected the surface, disassembled the energy unit, and roughly determined how to repair the handgun. If the structure of this cannon were to be replaced by the one he came a week ago, there would be absolutely no clue. So he said. Can be repaired. The energy core of the handgun is the GS.9 model, but there is a problem with the circuit of the energy supply system. 
After the problem occurs, the handgun cannot be turned off and will remain in the on state. Fortunately, you discovered it early. If it were a little later, this cannon would likely fire automatically, causing quite serious consequences. What? Edmund was greatly surprised and said solemnly, it's so serious. Gun violence incidents are frequent accidents that occur throughout the entire firefight area, and even throughout the entire city of tranquility, and the causes of such incidents are multifaceted. Firearm malfunctions, of course, are also included. Afterwards, Lin walked into the back room and stopped speaking. Inside, the machines were operating, and a slightly sharp grinding sound could be heard. Edmund looked at Lin's back and was somewhat surprised. After waiting for a while, he began to look at the guns displayed on the cargo rack in a state of boredom. He picked up a delicate revolver, weighed it in his hand, and carefully scrutinized the polished details before making a soft, hey, sound. He has been dealing with various weapons for so many years, and he can tell at a glance that this is a rare and excellent gun. He fumbled for the smooth handle of the gun, tried to open the safety, and aimed at it. Edmund frowned slightly. Isn't it said that the craftsmanship of this charity shop is very poor? Is this the goods he purchased? Edmund scrutinized the pistol. He was a veteran and knew that almost every gun polished in a workshop would have a certain mark on its body. But not on the gun body. And judging from the polishing style, the style doesn't seem to be from other gun shops nearby. Edmund was puzzled, and he casually selected a few more guns. He found that the quality was not inferior to the previous one, and carefully comparing the details, it seemed that this series of guns really came from one person. Lin came out of the back room and gently placed the repaired handgun on the table, saying calmly. I have fixed your handgun. Please check the completion and pay 200 points. But then he secretly glanced at the other person and added. You can negotiate the price. Is it fixed now? Edmund looked at the clock on the wall and exclaimed in shock, but it's only been ten minutes. He took the handgun, opened the safety, and the air suddenly condensed. The electric valve of the handgun, along with the power transmission rod, hummed and roared, and a blue light appeared at the muzzle, fleeting. The handgun returned to calm, and Lin wiped the cold sweat off his forehead. Edmund, however, repeatedly examined the weapon that had accompanied him for many years before suddenly looking at Lin and saying, I feel like its parts have become different. Not bad, Lin and nodded calmly and said, I have kept most of the parts of your gun, but I have modified a part. After my measurement, the current energy gathering speed of the handgun is 110% of the original, and its power has increased by 5 percentage points under the same energy storage conditions. There are some worn components inside, and I have already replaced them Lin certainly wouldn't do a loss-making business. The fact he deliberately concealed was that he had taken away the redundant components in the handgun. It will not affect normal function. Thank you, thank you. Edmund was like a treasure, about to make the payment, but suddenly said, did you also make the gun on the shelf? Lin nodded and explained, Many prosthetic stores also sell firearms because the field of mechanics is interconnected, and a mature prosthetics repairman. Edmund's face finally showed a look of shock, and he directly interrupted Lin's words. So, I'll take all the pistols on your shelf. Can you give me a quote? End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Rising Fame You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Rising Fame Lin never dreamed that, besides being a hunter, Edmund, still a hunter-mentor. In the hunter training ground, it is he who is responsible for leading the newcomers. That day, the old hunter Edmund was very satisfied with Lin's goods. When he returned to the hunter's tavern, he boasted about everyone, as if boasting that Lin could also add glory to himself. Afterwards, he became a regular customer of Lin Enyi Sports Shop. And when the people around him heard his endless boasting, they also raised a big question mark for Lin, and their curiosity was successfully aroused. For example, these two. Two young hunters walked around Lin Enyi's gym, playing with the firearms in their hands, 
unable to put them down. These two are both students of Edmund, not very old, probably around twenty years old, wearing a thick cloth armor. A protective suit specially designed to adapt to the wilderness environment, available at Hunter's Tavern. Surprisingly, as Teacher Edmund said, the guns sold here are both cheap and good. Lin scratched his head. These guns were all crafted by him himself, and the pricing was not compared with his peers. He ordered as much as he wanted. A freckled hunter was gazing at a revolver that shimmered with blue light, and exclaimed in amazement. Boss, your gun is probably at T2 level. The gun produced by Lin has a far higher killing power than the market average. The thin and tall hunter nodded with emotion and said, in the northeast of the entire battlefield, merchants who can produce T2-level weapons can count them with both hands. Mechanists who can produce T2-level firearms are all sought after by major forces. He witnessed Lin's craftsmanship with his own eyes, and then thought of those colleagues who were extremely slanderous of Lin, and instantly understood. The jealousy of the world towards the wise and the capable is evident. On the contrary, Lin, even though carrying the slander of others, silently endured everything without making any arguments. It is indeed necessary to meet such heroes. Lin and nodded and sighed inwardly, am I so awesome? He still looked up at the distance at a 45-degree angle without showing any signs. The steam of hot tea steamed up, blurring his vision and enhancing his strength. The two were impressed and finally remembered the goal of their trip. The tall and thin hunter handed Lin a token, which was made of black iron and had a wine glass pattern copied with scratches on the surface. Boss Lin, welcome to the tavern in the market as a guest. Our hunter community will always welcome you. Let's go together, the news about Lin has already spread in the market, the old street is a necessary path for hunters to cross the battlefield, some are careless people who, after setting off, find that their firearms have not been maintained or have forgotten to fill them with bullets busy and busy, just find a doorstep for emergency response. Lin Enyi Sports Shop has become their first choice. After that day, Lin did indeed find that his business had improved a lot. Every morning in the early morning, people who looked more dangerous lined up in front of the store, and passers-by frowned and walked around the street. The daily profit of the small shop has reached the upper limit. Over 600 points per day. It's not that there are only so many customers coming to repair the prosthetic body and purchase gun parts, but rather that Lin's daily production capacity is only these. He once thought about whether to spend the whole day making machinery and temporarily put aside theoretical learning and physical exercise, but he quickly gave up on this plan. Although making money is good, if you give up your future development space for the sake of small profits in the present, it is a waste of money. One day. Auntie Sue got up early. She makes a living by picking up garbage every day, but unlike Yang Gui who goes to Dingtu Fortress to pick up garbage, she picks up household waste that no one wants. Fortunately, the safety factor is high, and working hard every day is enough to make a living. She handles all the household waste on this street alone. Riding on an old tricycle, she strolled down the street and passed by Lin Enyi's gym as usual. But looking at the scene on the street, she rubbed her eyes. A large group of people lined up in front of Lin Enyi's sports store, and it seemed difficult to get along with. She was an old lady, who had never seen this posture before. She immediately went back in shock and said to everyone, Lin En is in trouble. I saw him blocked inside the store by a group of debt collectors with my own eyes. Those people were all big and rough, and they looked scary. Did I say that long ago? He has never had much ability in his life and loves to hang out with some unscrupulous people. It's good now, others don't even know what to do with him. Someone trembled and said, Are you telling the truth? It's absolutely true, said Auntie Subi firmly as soon as the neighbors hear it, what's the deal? In the future, let's pretend we don't know Lin. At this moment, someone probed the news and hurriedly returned, blaming, what are you talking about? I heard people say that Lin created a T2-level weapon and was discovered by a group of people who were rushing to book it. What? 
everyone was shocked. A few days ago, they were still making fun of Lin, treating him as an ignorant and ignorant young man. Are you saying that those guys are all going to buy things made by Lin N? Isn't that just spending money recklessly? Auntie Subi is confused. But the biggest question is, what is a T2 level weapon? This word has exceeded their understanding. The person shook their head. I don't know, I just know it's very powerful. Several neighbors engaged in lively discussions. How much money can he earn in a day now? He's making a fortune. At least 50 yuan. Oh my, I knew I should have had a good relationship with them. It's all your fault for talking nonsense all day long. They are very successful. Amidst the chatter of the crowd, a group of three dressed in the pain clothes of the lizard gang walked into Lin and Yi's gym. These three are all wearing a metal arm, led by a mature woman with a slender figure and a fairly swollen upper body. She painted very deep eye shadow, and her purple lips were richly inlaid with a lot of flash diamonds. Looking at the exposed skin, we can see that her skin is not very good, which is more rough than the smoothness of ordinary women. The remaining two are men with oily yellow flat hair, and a short woman with purple ponytails, pinning a blood-stained baseball bat behind her. That yellow-haired man is none other than Lin's neighbor Hans. As soon as Lin En saw these three, he keenly smelled a hint of conflict and exclaimed inwardly that it was not good. He quickly stood up, looked at the three of them, and looked at Hans with questioning eyes. What can I do for you? Hans looked at Lin with a somewhat complicated expression. To be honest, he was quite happy to see Lin break free from his idle and idle state. But a hint of discomfort inexplicably rose from the bottom of my heart. Why did this guy suddenly develop a mechanical knowledge and create a T2 level weapon? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Invitation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Invitation The atmosphere in the ED store was a bit anxious. The woman with two ponytails took off a mechanical arm hanging on the shelf, compared it with her own model, and carefully pursed her lips. The workmanship of this prosthetic arm is not very good, both the material and performance are very perfunctory. Why do so many people praise your store? Because this is not even prepared for you. You your prosthetic limb is the basic model DWA developed by Tox Dutton Company in 1198. Although its energy level is only T2, it is the product with the lowest requirement for human flesh and blood metal affinity. Once it was launched, it was immediately widely used in various fields in Anning City. But Tox Dutton Company is one of the largest arms companies, and of course, you also belong to the category of arms. My small shop sells daily necessities for ordinary people, and they are also peripheral prosthetic frames. Some of them are purchased from other families, which cannot reflect my level Lin said lightly. In recent years, with the development of technology, the performance of prosthetics has become increasingly outstanding. While bringing great convenience to people with disabilities, they have also endowed them with extraordinary strength, and even attracted the favor of healthy people. Many people even voluntarily want to amputate themselves, just to fit a piece of alloy arm. In this situation, peripheral prosthetic frameworks have emerged. No need for amputation surgery, no need for nerve connection with the human body, no need for muscle insertion surgery, injection of blood and meat metal stabilizers to prevent a series of blood and meat rejection. Normal people can also wear it, and it can also play a part of the role of prosthetics. Therefore, prosthetics are actually divided into two types. Internal implant prosthetics and peripheral prosthetic frameworks. A complete set of peripheral prosthetic frameworks, also known as exoskeletons. That is to say, the woman in front of Lin is actually a real disabled person. After saying these words, Lin turned his head to Hans. He also installed prosthetics. It's still an internal planting type. Where's your arm? Did you have a surgical removal? Hans nodded and straightened his chest slightly, proudly saying, the lizard gang has equipped every new member with metal prosthetics. 
I have abandoned this useless stinky bag and embraced the progress of technology. Lin touched his forehead and a strange idea suddenly came to his mind. The operation of the gang certainly requires funds, and this collective cannot do charity for the poor children. If what he expected was good, these severed limbs should have been purchased by a dedicated person, but they don't know what their purpose is it doesn't matter. Let go of helping others and respect the fate of others. The third sister exclaimed in surprise, do you know each other? A neighbor. Hans doesn't want to talk too much about the past. For him, he has already started a new life. The girl took the conversation and said, so, since you said making daily necessities cannot prove your level, why don't you make some high.performance high.end prosthetics? Because no one bought it, Lin and skillfully brewed a pot of green tea for the few people. The tea was much clearer than before, with a fragrance that was different from industrial saccharin. Put on another plate of fruits. Hans looked at the plate of fruits, his eyes fixed, and he secretly hid a green apple in his sleeve. On this old street, the people who come and go are all garbage collectors, manure handlers, and beggars. They work at the bottom level, so of course they don't have much free money in their pockets. Here, I sell light bulbs, screwdrivers, washing machines, guns, and my profits are higher than those of selling prosthetics. What I want to do is not determined by me, but by the market. A sip of hot tea entered her throat, leaving a lingering fragrance on her lips and teeth. The third sister, who was silently sipping tea, looked up and exclaimed in shock. Good tea. What kind of tea are you? Green tea in the exchange of fire. Lin En shook his sleeve and cut off the tea poured into his own bowl. This tea is a type of green tea grown in the wilderness, which has been treated with special disinfection methods after being collected by hunters. Its price is more than three times that of ordinary artificial tea. These are gifts given to him by some hunter clients, and they are also available at Ambition Hotel. Today is my first time rushing. Third sister finally regained her composure, leaned forward and said in a gentle and persuasive tone. You said the geographical location of the store limits your performance, so if you were to move the store door to the market, you could create prosthetics. Lin didn't rush to answer, he chewed out a special taste from the words and his heart tightened. What does it mean? The aroma of wine fears the depth of the alley. I mean, since you are so talented, living on this remote old street would be too much of a waste of talent. Why don't you join our lizard gang? We also treat you like brothers and let's go do something big together. Third sister leaned forward and her entire upper body became more dynamic. Her seductive eyes locked onto Lin. Lin felt a chilly chill. He seems to remember Hans saying that this is actually a man Hans was also surprised, and a strong sense of resentment rose in his heart. He only knew that he was coming to Wu Lin today, as if he was going to talk business. Why did he suddenly invite him into the lizard gang? Why? He made so much effort to finally obtain the qualification to join the lizard gang, but this opportunity was so easily given to his neighbors. He he. Lin turned around to put the teapot and said politely, I didn't have any plans for that. I prefer a comfortable life. Hans breathed a sigh of relief. It's normal for you to think this way, said the third sister, anticipating that Lin En would say so. Even if you don't want to join the lizard gang, it doesn't matter. However, our production capacity of these heavenly limbs is greatly insufficient. I hope you can cooperate with us and refuse orders from Grunfos Company, only supplying us. In theory, residents on the old street are required to pay protection fees once a month. If you accept our proposal, I can represent the Lizard Gang and waive all your protection fees. At the same time, we will also buy a storefront for you in the market, so that you can relocate the entire store. We have also gone inside the store to take a look, which is more than twice the size of your area. There are the wealthiest people gathered in the southeast of the entire battlefield, so you don't have to worry about not selling your prosthetics, it's located in Mongkok, so you don't have to worry about money. It's not too far away to buy a registered residence in a shantytown. 
Lin fell silent. He doesn't seem to have received any orders from Grunfos. I believe they must have neglected it. After thinking for a moment, he still said. Give me a few days to think. Okay, third sister stood up and scraped Lin and slender nails on his neck. I'll come back to see you in a week. At night. Lin rarely continued his studies, but lay in bed, staring at the ceiling, unsure of what he was thinking. Through this angle, he could clearly look out the window and see the bright night sky illuminated by the lights of Anning City, as bright as day. Brilliant and colorful. But this is not a reason for his relocation. If I refuse, I will really have a grudge against the Lizard Gang. Whatever I do here, I will be under their watchful eye, and they will inevitably give me small shoes. I'm just one person. They have a large number of people and so many equipment. If I really want to turn my back, it's still my fault. But if I agree, I will stand opposite the Grunfos company and compete with the other party's people. Excuse me. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Decisions. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Decisions The next day, after a busy day's work, Lin straightened up and practiced his gun as usual. Standing, lying, kneeling. Three shots fired, hitting the bullseye, Lin opened the proficiency panel. Lin, Lifetime. 2648 Mechanics. Mechanical Maintenance LV2 Slightly Improved. 389-500 Mechanical Manufacturing LV2 Slightly Improved. 302-500 Shooting. Firearm Shooting LV2 Slightly Improved. 299-500 Electricity. Circuit LV2 Slightly Improved. 247-500 Energy Distribution LV2 Since crossing over to this world, in less than a month, Lin's overall quality has greatly improved. After persistent daily exercise, he successfully developed a vest line and reduced excess fat. Through a good daily routine, he also successfully extended his lifespan for several years, allowing him to live a few more years in this perilous cyber world. But Lin's face didn't show much relief. In these days, he found that the speed of liver proficiency has greatly slowed down. The most obvious change is in shooting. At the beginning, he could gain a lot of proficiency by firing a few shots at the target, but now his daily proficiency growth is almost halved. Secondly, there is mechanical manufacturing, and the growth rate of this skill has also slowed down. Lin thought about this question and thought he had found the right answer. For the knowledge of mechanics, the books he has at hand are only a few basic introductory books. Although they cover various mechanical, semantic, and electrical knowledge, these things are not advanced. Through day after day of study, Lin has almost completely absorbed these books. He is now only absorbing the hidden knowledge points in the books, as if picking up scraps on the beach. Ultimately, it is better to search for gold in the gold mine, and the learning efficiency is far less than looking for new books to read. The slow progress in shooting can also be explained by this. A person who only hits a 3-meter target in a small room has no future, and even a child who is proficient can hit it. He must set the target further away in order to increase his proficiency. But there is only a little space in this small shop, surrounded by crowded tin houses, and the alleys are very close to each other. He can't shoot on the street, can he? With thoughts swirling, and recalling the price offered by the lizard gang, Lin had already made a decision in his heart. What does he most want to do recently? I want to move into the market. Can T2 grade prosthetics be sold on the old street? Cannot. Can life safety be guaranteed on the old street? Cannot. Can he get along with the lizard gang? Cannot. There won't be anything wrong. Besides, since they have approached me, I actually don't have much room to refuse. A week slowly passed by. In the evening. How's it going, little boss? It's been a week already. How are you thinking about it? Seeing no one, let's hear their voice first. The footsteps outside the door gradually became clear from far to near, 
and the three members of the lizard gang entered the store door again. Lin still sat on the sofa, with four cups of tea in front of him. During this period, he had also seen the new house located in the market, which was indeed in a good location. It covered a total of 70.80 square meters, which was twice the size of his small shop, and he also had an open yard. Of course, this house cannot be given to Lin for free. He only has the right to use it and no ownership. He is quite satisfied with all aspects. Lizard Gang, Hansa's heart hung in suspense. I won't join, but I can accept your proposal. As previously agreed, Hans felt relieved. The boss is indeed a delightful person. It's not dark yet. As the host, please go to the Ambition restaurant in the market and have a small meal. The third sister burst into a cheerful laugh, her hands behind her, and the clattering sound of energy safety being reactivated was covered by laughter. In a moment, Ambition Hotel's second floor suite, apart from Hans and the other three, there were also some people who Lin didn't know, all of whom seemed to be high-dot-level members of the Lizard Gang. There was a person with high-pointed red hair and a metal ring on his nose, and others called him Rooster Brother. So Lin also coaxed him into calling him Chicken Brother. Several people also pretended to be familiar with Lin, questioning the reasons for the rapid progress of their skills, but Lin used the word thick and thin to evade them. The dishes on the table are also very particular, including some meat from wild animals and some unnamed green vegetables. It is said that they are hybrid plants grown in agricultural greenhouses outside of Anning City, and this plate alone is worth several hundred points. After three rounds of drinking, Lin sat by the window, overlooking the pedestrians in the market. It's already late at night, and it can be said that the entire northeast of the firefight area is only the market with pedestrians walking and stopping. Most of those who can still stay in the market at this time have properties here. The order here is orderly, gathering the wealthiest people in the vicinity. Most of them have undergone prosthetic transformations, with shiny prosthetic frames on their bodies and extraordinary firearms in their pockets. This is just a little like a gathering place, Lin and sighed. When he first pushed a small cart out of the market, due to lack of experience, he packed the cart full. The people on the old street looked at him with an indescribable gaze, some even following him for a distance, like aimless zombies. Upon savoring that gaze, Lin felt that using hunger was the most appropriate description. After tonight, he will be staying here and using it as his new base. Sun reported truthfully and knew the etiquette, hoping that the neighbors of the market could treat him well. The next morning, the noisy moving convoy woke up the sleeping Old Street. Although most of the people on the Old Streets are illiterate and haven't read many books, they still know what cars are, after all, the streets are full of car wreckage. But this convoy of many cars is indeed rare. As soon as the convoy emerged from the Old Street, the neighbors on this side of the street began to spread rumors. What is the situation? Listen to them, these are all cars of the lizard gang, with such a big lizard painted on the outside. Perhaps someone else owes money, amidst the chatter, the convoy stopped outside Lin's shop and began moving things one by one onto the car. The safe containing exoskeletons was also pre-processed by Lin, wrapped together with some fabrics and bed sheets, and packed away. As for things that are too large, such as washing beds and lathes, they cannot be taken away, so they have to be disassembled into parts and wait for them to be transported together before being assembled. Lin has also arrived and is directing the moving work on site. Everyone was shocked, and upon inquiry, they found out that it was Lin An who was moving to the market to live. Market. There are people from the lizard gang guarding their day and night, and the order is orderly. No one dares to kill anyone there casually. Major shops and entertainment facilities are all built there, and the market is right outside. It is said that even the registered residents of shantytowns, the institutions in the city also give priority to people in the market. Safety, comfort, and even development prospects are far above the old streets, and this is also the lifelong goal pursued by the vast majority of old street people, but it is stolen by an unlucky young man. Brush 
Everyone's eyes changed, they became envious, jealous, and even resentful. A group of people walked up with smiles on their faces, while others silently retreated and angrily returned home, closing the windows, trying their best to forget this morning's scene. Lin, why did you just leave without telling us? Really, how long will it take to go? Come back often to take a look. Not many people congratulated Lin that morning, but more still didn't come out at all, just like there was no such thing. Lin was also rarely idle, chatting casually with the person who congratulated him. Before long, he greeted him and got into the nearby truck, slamming the car door shut. The car flew away, dragging a gust of exhaust. End of this chapter Chapter 10 New Neighbors You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 New Neighbors for Lin Every time he changes his living environment, it symbolizes the beginning of a new life. He used to be a person who loved to embrace new things, but after crossing into this polluted cyber world, his preference gradually dissipated like smoke. At the beginning, the life in the market was very glamorous in his mind, but when he moved over, he realized that everything here was unfamiliar and would make people worry about gains and losses. When Lin was on the old street, he strictly adhered to the shrinking strategy, in short, to avoid all disputes and opportunities for contact with people, because the neighbors around him, through his observation, had little value in communication. It's different here. The people who can settle in the market are all the elites who do well in the entire exchange of fire. They have culture, strong interpersonal skills, and a certain understanding of Anning City. Some undisclosed news or knowledge obtained from covert channels are exactly what Lin desires. After about a week of adjustment, Lin has become familiar with his new neighbors and has roughly expanded his social network. Next to Lin Enyi's physical fitness store, there is a woman who started her own business independently from the Night SPA. Every day, there is a constant stream of customers, and the number of visitors is probably more than twice that of Lin Enyi. The other party makes a lot of noise every night, which seriously affects Lin's rest. The owner who lives in the northeast direction is Ban Wan, who runs a food wholesale store. However, his business has been sluggish these days and he has been worried every day. In the southwest direction, there is a colleague who specializes in mechanical prosthetics business. His craftsmanship and business are both above Lin's. He has signed an unknown contract with Grunfo's company and is making progress day by day. To the northwest, there is an old man wearing brown glasses. It is said that he is the type of prosthetic doctor who performs surgery on people. He usually doesn't go out, so Lin doesn't know him very well either. These days, Lin's new store is being renovated, not operating. But that doesn't mean he's resting at home. Lin is lying in the store looking at his phone. Send a text message on your phone. This month's order includes 50 T2 level pistols, which are required to be paired with an SP.2 level blue rapid fire laser generator. 10 T2 level armed prosthetic EWA models are required as above. For the owner of this ED shop, ED manufacturing is a completely new field. Although he belongs to the same mechanical category as firearms, there are certain differences. Firearms can be understood as a component of prosthetics. Blessing through analogy, Lin's current level of prosthetic manufacturing is also T2 level. He hasn't opened yet, there are no customers, and he rarely has leisure, tinkering with mechanical prosthetics at home. A few days ago, due to various reasons, Lin had been neglecting this aspect. As soon as he moved into his new home, he immediately began to manufacture various experimental weapons. A gun provides him with too little sense of security. On the floor of his exclusive workspace, there were neatly stacked wires, grinding machines, prosthetic prototypes, connecting wires, energy batteries, sensors, electromagnetic coils, fuses, and some indescribable parts. The grinding will press down, and a bitter friction sound sounded. Sparks splashed on the protective shield, blocking the excessive light with black, preventing it from harming Lin's eyes. He is creating a peripheral semantic framework. After a moment, 
a shiny silver alloy arm frame was formed, which not only perfectly fitted Lin's arm, but also carried a very stylish handgun. After checking the sensitivity of the sensor, Lin inserted the screws on the circuit board and re-soldered it, but still felt unsatisfied. Finally, he removed the distribution positions of the detection gyroscope and hydraulic system. Lin put on the arm frame, as if he had an extra layer of silver bones, exuding a heroic aura. He exerted all his strength to grip, and a terrifying number jumped out of the grip strength meter. 223 kilograms, Linen's face lit up with a smile as he put on his arm and entered the yard outside the store. He fixed the metal target and turned on the energy safety of the handgun. A dark green light ball accumulated and hit the target center, leaving a burnt mark. The vast majority of T2 level firearms used in the current exchange of fire use the fast firing blue laser SP.2 battery provided by Ataki Energy Company. Through his own understanding, Lin made some minor modifications to the essence of this laser energy, which not only improved the power of the firearms but also increased some costs. But it doesn't matter, he's not a company, and of course, this specialized weapon is only for personal use. This still doesn't work. Lin thought for a while before spending another day manufacturing all the prosthetic frames for his legs. The two silver white outer leg bone frames are freshly made, with springs and gas shock absorbers at the ankles, which can make Lin more flexible when walking and running, while reducing the impact force on his body and avoiding damage to fragile bones. At the upper part of the leg bone frame, there is also a spring rigid controller that can be manually switched on and off, suitable for various terrain conditions. The strength of the body is a part, and agility is the most important. The prosthetic framework on his body cannot effectively resist the firing of energy firearms. In an encounter, whoever can dodge the first bullet will have an advantage. He stood in the yard, jumping vertically in front of the ruler with only a slight force. 110 centimeters. Set the starting position and run with all your strength, 50 meters, 5.81 seconds. This data is quite close to the limit of the human body, but Lin vaguely feels that there is still room for improvement in this data. His adaptation with peripheral prosthetics is still not sufficient, and he cannot fully exert the full power of prosthetics. However, the peripheral nerve framework manufactured by Lin is not connected to the human nervous system, and even though its bounce strength and motor ability reach levels that ordinary people cannot match, its neural responsibility still does not have a significant advantage. Having these equipment properly configured does not mean he can dominate the market. Just a little bit of social confidence. On this day, Lin went out. Boss Lin is finally willing to go out. Oh my, they are busy with work. Look at their attire, it's a source of wealth. Encountering familiar new neighbors on the road, everyone greeted Lin with a smile, and their tone was not filled with the sarcasm and sarcasm of the old street people, so they were cautious. Lin smiled and chatted with them, turning into the main road along the back alley and encountering Ban Wen. Good morning, Lin, welcome to the exchange of fire. Lin shrugged and said, the entire exchange of fire, except for here, is happening everywhere. Ban Wen shook his head. Including here. Ban Wen pointed to the people gathered in the distance and jokingly said, on the first day of the opening of the Grunfos branch, won't you go and take a look? Lin looked over and saw a group of people gathered together, scrambling for some food. This group of people's clothing is much shabby compared to the people in the market, and at first glance, it is clear that they came from far away areas outside the market to make a purchase. Lin also knew that Grunfos had kept the prices of energy bars, low dot quality syrup, and other items very low, triggering a shopping frenzy that also hit the entire food workshop in the trading area. It is said that many workshops have already closed down. But Lin no longer eats these things. He is now accustomed to going to Ambition Restaurant every day to buy some fresh raw materials, thanks to the relationship with the Lizard Gang. Even if you occasionally think of nostalgia and want to eat an energy stick casually, 
you usually go to the branch of the Grunfos company to buy Grunfos energy sticks, Sanyuan Jai energy Z supplements, and some other high dot end foods. This time is different from the past. Thank you for the two big monthly tickets, one year's end in the sound of firecrackers, and one life's road, as well as the recommended tickets from everyone, end of this chapter.